Good, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Would you like to come and sit down? Thank you. Miserable day. <laughs> Are you going for shorter? Yes, it's oh, annoying me. <laughs> the wind blows and it just gets in my face. Did you say you had some pictures? I did, they're in my bag. Yes. So you're actually from Harrow? Yes, yes. yes. It's not my place. Have you been there long? Uh, not long. Really thick. You've actually, you have a Yeah. Bits and pieces in a boxing ring where the audience oh. bid on what they want to happen next. Mm. So we, like, rehearsed characters and yes. backstory yes. and conflict situations and put them in a boxing ring. And this was in Harrow? No, this was in um, Marlebane. Oh. It was lots of fun. <laughs> but you live in Harrow? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, work takes you all over the place. But Harrow is a good place to be. I'm doing um, some courses, uh, modules in, in Meisner at the moment. Oh, yeah. Meisner. And we just finished the one on um, character, mm. um, which is interesting because I thought you could be who you want to be and it's other things you put on, but actually this course was saying it's all in you and you've got to find all those things within you, which is quite a challenge sometimes. So you have to find these things, these, these qualities yeah. in you. Yeah, it's you. You chisel the character out of you. And then sometimes you add extra bits like a limb or a costume. Um, but you don't. Do you research characters? Or you just uh, find it in you? Yeah, no, research them too. And there's lots of like analysis and stuff mm. that goes on. Um, it's all in, yeah, you create imaginary like situations that are similar to what that character is. Do you find um, life experience as well um, falling on different people that you've met in your life? Yes. You know, and using that. Most definitely. And different situations. Yes. I think last weekend, <laughs> some, um, cause I, before doing these courses, I was really quite quiet and keep everything in mm. um, and doing these they're looking for emotions and things so I was digging in myself to find those and um, so last weekend I really wanted to have a tantrum at someone who upset me but uh, I didn't of course but no. it was like noticing that's within you that I wanted to say some things that could be really sort of hurtful but I will remember it when I'm mm. on stage mm. for the next character so you obviously Love what you do. I do. You do. It's a passion. Yes, most definitely. So you know quite a few people in Harrow. And um, uh, yeah, I know. Not like the local shop people now. You know faces and the neighbour. Is it a nice, friendly yeah, community? Yeah, I've got to know the neighbour because she locked herself out. Yeah. Um, so she knocked on the door. So that was quite good. So that's someone to talk to now. Oh. Um, 
It's all quite. Everyone keeps themselves to themselves. They do. Mm -hmm. Everyone seems to be scared. What do you think they're scared of? I don't know. When they keep themselves to themselves. Just. No, everyone. I don't know. It's not like it used to be if you listen to the parents talking. Thank you. Where the, because people like I've only just moved into the area, so I don't know the history of the people. I know you're right, and I know that I, I absolutely appreciate that, but I can't because um, how what my opinion is is yeah. when I'm cutting hair, you see, is that the head is shaped right. like that. That's it. So I'm, I go, I'm pushing, pushing with, yeah. with the shape of the head. If I push up, you're still I'm, doing I'm anti. No, you're still going, you're still, you're still doing, in, you're yeah. still doing the same. So I thought I'd have my hair done before going, so all my photographs are this burnt like mess, mm. it just came up here, <laughs> so I've got it to remember for all time. And then I had it cut in America, and I cut it at different levels in a tiny little barber shop. Oh, so, was you pleased with it? No. No, no, because <laughs> no, it was all wrong. Mm -hmm. And how long ago was that in America? Yeah, no, it was still when I travelled. Oh, that's right, at 22. Yeah. So you went across the world? Did yeah, that's 22. Yeah. Very with brave. Friend, yeah. Very brave. I like the friend. <laughs> and you went with a friend? Yeah. Yeah, I went with a friend. She was about 22 and I was 20 when I left. And then um, we went to... Um, Paris, then it was Italy, Naples, and when we went to Belgrade, mm. Yugoslavia at the time, the soldiers, you know, mm. uh, how it was, um, and then we decided to go to Greece and the Greek islands, and then I met my husband and spent 18 years out there, 18 years in Greece, oh. had two children out there. Mm. I like Visiting. I don't really Have you been to Greece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. 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 Italy's a place to be got to. So, you, you, did you enjoy um, America? Yes, you did. And the people? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to go back to America. Mm. And whereabouts in America did you go? Um, we went down to New York, Boston, down to uh, Georgia. And Wonderful. And then we flew over to um, San Francisco and did a bit of a loop around that side. Mm. Yeah. It was good. 
San Francisco is lovely, isn't it? The yes. trams, yes. the hills. And Alcatraz. Oh, Alcatraz. Yeah, Alcatraz. Yeah. And it must have been Chinese New Year. There was lots of party going on in the town. Hmm. Celebrations or something. Good. Was it snowing when you went? Uh, it was snowing. We went over the bridge by Niagara Falls and it started to oh snow. God. And then the other side we went to Vancouver and it wasn't snowing, but we went on a. Because we were youth hosteling, mm. we went out on a little place where this lady picked us up on a boat called Last Hope and <laughs> took us to the middle of nowhere. Um, so you had like bed and breakfast and then you did some work on her farm. Uh, it, was, it was a bit of a nowhere and in the afternoon you could, you could go exploring. So you could walk a little bit and then there were canoes tied up so you could canoe across a, a lake and then walk a bit more and find another canoe. It was beautiful. So you love travelling? Yes, yeah. I don't get the chance to do it much now, but I did. We went to we went to Iceland, America, Canada, mm. Hawaii, New Zealand, Australia, Singapore, and New Zealand, and then you <laughs> well, decided to settle back in Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> people because you don't know anybody for two weeks you start bonding with all these yeah. different people from all over the country and that's the the loveliness of a holiday is meeting different people and then their friends and all exchanging numbers yeah. and and what you said about Harrow you said well you know a lot of people keep themselves themselves but when you are abroad yeah you everyone relaxes them. everybody you're seeing a good side of people because they're all happy yeah. they're on holiday yes. <laughs> you've got them in a good mood <laughs> who isn't happy on holiday yeah. and sitting in the pool and having a drink at the side and then all you've got to do is just get yourself ready for, for a nice meal it is yeah four years we didn't go away and i really love that it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be so far because I've got a six-year-old, and so that just suits me, yeah. just to, not too far. Although I'd love to go to America, I really would. And I do envy people that have been to America because it's just so exciting. Yeah. Isn't it? 